guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Karen and I am lavender clothesline here on YouTube also on eBay and Instagram I like to go out and find things that I can flip for profit whether it be on eBay in my store lavender clothesline or on Facebook marketplace so hit that like and subscribe button get yourself something to drink and let's see how this day wound up Okay, so it is Sunday mid-afternoon and I am getting ready to start to pull the weekend's solds and I have to go out in a little while, so I'm going to do this in two parts. Whenever I have snippets of time, maybe an hour or two here and there, I always try to fit in a task that's going to help me with a future task. So tomorrow morning, instead of me getting up on a Monday morning and starting my week feeling overwhelmed with all of the shipping that I have to pull, I will do the majority of it on Sunday. Okay, the first item that's sold that I'm going to be pulling is actually a Facebook marketplace sale and I'm going to do that meetup later on today probably about one o'clock and it is these two wood cassette whoa shadow box holder things these are um, a bin pickup I filmed myself finding these everybody was passing them by and these sold through Facebook marketplace local pickup I don't ship on Facebook marketplace and they sold for a hundred dollars so I'm gonna pull these two I'm gonna put the camera down and that is the first sale so I'm just gonna lay them on this table over here in my shipping area these are cassette holders uh, that get wall mounted so the wall mounting hardware is still on them and I'm not even sure if the company or companies that make these are still producing these because as we all know the cassette technology is kind of like a defunct technology as far as I know. I'm sure there are companies still making cassette tapes but the technology is so changed that any accessories that have to do with that has probably greatly changed. How's that all for, <laughs> for positive knowledge? So each one of these cases, I believe, hold 100 cassettes, and I sold them for $50 each, $100 for the sale, no fees. You got to love that. All right, let's go on to item number two, and we'll take a look at what's sold. So these items I just listed, I think, yesterday or the day before, and I have not even hung them up. I fall a little behind sometimes, but I always catch up. And some DVDs I listed. This was a great find. These were a bunch of DVDs about uh, railway travel, rail journeys. So uh, I was thrilled to find these. But that's, that's another subject for another day. Those did not sell. So I have to clear this table to be able to find my salts. And I'm just going to take my IKEA bag and put it, where shall I put it? Maybe I'll just put it right here to get this out of the way so that we can pull what's sold. Okay, so I'm not going to try to pull everything. I'm just going to start the process so you guys seem to enjoy this. And let's pull the first thing. Duluth men's medium cargo pants. Stretch waist, they're khaki. Let's look on the men's hanging rack and see if they are over here. I know I have some men's pants here. These might be them right here. I think these are them. Let's take these down and take a look. Are these Duluth? Are you Duluth? I'm not even seeing a label here. Let's hang them in some light so we can take a look. Um, no, these don't look like Duluth. What does that say? Up oh, Duluth. Duluth trading. These are most likely them. I will have a better look in the light over on the table. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these are them. And I'm not sure where Duluth put their label. But once I put them down, I will be able to take a better look. Yep, I see the label. So I'm going to pull this hanger off. Just put the hanger in the box. I always have a system. Let's see. I saw a label. Label, label, where did you go? There it is. Way down there. Okay, so Duluth Trading Company Medium 32s. All right, let's see what's on the phone next. Now, I'm not going to zero in on the phone because people's information... Next is an energy medium dress, deep gray. So dresses are this way. Medium dress. My dresses are on this back wall here, and I will be looking in medium prints. So this bin is backwards. 
I'm going to try to do this while holding the camera. Okay, so see how that says medium prints? That means it's in this bin. Okay, this is a workout. <laughs> you don't need to go to the gym if you're selling on this level. All right, so it was an energy, I said, right? And it's like a sublimation dress. Okay, so I had to stop the camera and dig a little bit. This is the dress right here, Energy Medium Sublimation. I'll just put these back in. And like I said, I will leave all the bins down till I finish filming because getting the bins down is a thing, but getting them back up is even more of a thing. All right, I'm going to gather on this table here. Eventually, I'm going to have to move all of this because there'll be a lot. Next up is an Anthropology 2X bird blouse. This was part of the Anthropology haul that I did, the shopping haul. I went to Anthropology and uh, really bought some beautiful things. So here are shirts down here. This one should be a little bit easier to find. Now, I think this is folded down. Yep, right on top. This is made by Anthropology. 2x okay so this is the blouse made 2x by anthropology and this sold for $63.70 I think I might have forgotten to say what things sold for this dress I had for a while so this sold for $9.99 and the Duluth pants brought $20.80 next up a lot of the Easter haul is really starting to sell. So the next few items are going to be probably from that haul. So I have the Easter Bunnies pillow. They're Easter Bunnies and eyeglasses. This is the second one to sell. And Easter Bunnies blue kitchen towels and a wood sign Easter blessings 11 by 7. Let's see if I have an inventory number. Okay, I think it just says 11 by 7. So those are these signs down here. Let's move these off. Okay. So this is Easter Blessings, but I don't think that's 11 by 7. I think these are... Does it say what these are? I'm going to have to measure if I don't know. Up, oh, I see it back there. It's way in the back. Let's pull some of these Easter signs. This is my wood shelf. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's this here. Easter blessings, and it's just a wood sign. I picked these up when Goodwill had the massive Easter inventory come in. This sold for $19.49, and I believe I paid $2.50 for these. All right, let's go back and look for the Easter Bunny's kitchen towels that sold for $9.99, and the pillow where the Easter bunnies are wearing glasses, $22.67. So the majority of the Easter haul, except for those wooden signs, are back here. Now I do have some Easter pillows up here. Let me take a quick look. There are bunnies and glasses. How cute is that? Okay. So that is what that looks like. Adorable. And the glasses are all um, embroidered. So this has applique and embroidered. We're going to actually pull this one and bring it up to the table. Like I said, doing this on a Sunday is much more relaxing and less stressful than trying to get all of this out on Monday morning. Now, you guys know me. I'm up with the chickens. I'm up at the crack of dawn. So I do have time to do it, but it just makes my Monday morning so much nicer. I'm going to get the kitchen towels while we're talking. It makes my, my Monday morning so much nicer if I start this process on Sunday because I can have up to 50 solds and two sell that many things that some of it's hard goods, some of it's, you know, clothing, some of it needs special care. It's just a lot. So to start it on Sunday is always just much more fun and relaxing. All right, so these are kitchen towels, and this is the kitchen towel bin. Let's see if I can find this with one hand. All right, what are these? Okay, these are He Is Risen. Let's build this. Let's dig this way. <sighs> it's a lot of kitchen towels. Up, oh, of course, it's the very last one. And that is the 
group of towels that's sold and on these I put little stickers with inventory numbers because I picked up such a massive amount of kitchen towels and I think I think this is the last bin of them so Easter pickup at Goodwill that haul that I did is a great success I have already made my money back and a lot more so um I was really grateful for this pickup all right so those are the three Easter things that have sold all right, so we got the Duluth pants, Anthropology, the Energy dress. The next item that sold is a grapes creamer pitcher put out by P.K. Celestia. I'm not even sure how to say that. And I'm going to go into it so I can see what it looks like because I lose track of things that I have. And this sold for $14.30. It's a little pitcher. Whoop, this might be it right here. Yes. So look at that, how sweet that is. And, you know, there's the marking on the bottom. I don't especially know all the markings, but I thought somebody's going to want this really pretty. $14.30. And I probably paid, I'm going to say either $1.99 or $2.99 for that. All right. Next up, North Style Women's 10 Petite Dress. I do not remember this dress at all. So I'm going to go into the listing so I can take a look at it. Oh, that's a nice dress. <laughs> North Style, 10 Petite. Have you ever heard of North Style? I have not. You know what? I'm actually going to look at the dress section right here before I dig in the bins. This might be it right here. This is it right here. See, sometimes my mind remembers it, even though I don't realize I remembered it. It's kind of like a sheath dress and 10 Petite. So North Style, have you heard of North Style? I don't think you're going to find this on any Bolo, Bolo list, but I sold it $14.99 and I paid $4.75 for this dress. Okay, let's see what's up next. Next up is an exquisite form bra. I picked these up in quantity. They were in a thrift store, but they're new in box, $28.60 and bras and intimates are in a bin over here. So bras and bustiers are right there. And let's pull this down with one hand. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing a, a CrossFit <laughs> YouTube video. All right, so these are them. This is what the bra bustier bin looks like. And these are both the same, but I always check the style number, 7532. 42B. Yes, that is what's sold. I'm going to leave that guy right there. Close it up later. I have learned that because in the beginning when I started shipping and I would pull things, I would close every bin and put it away only to see something sold in a bin that I was just in. So now I have learned to leave everything open. All right, the next thing is a Tommy Bahamas chambray top. And I just listed that. So that's going to be in one of these piles. Might be in this bag. See if I can pull this bag into the light. All right, I might have to shut the camera off and look for it because I don't think I hung this. Okay, so I looked through this pile and this bag. It is not in there, which means it's going to be on this rack here. These are all my shorter pieces like jackets and things like that. Here it is right here. Tommy Bahama. This is just a button down with a roll tab sleeve. And this didn't last long. No, I either priced this low and didn't realize it. This sold for $20.80, which I'm very happy with. I pay $4.75 for this. So that was a quick flip. I think I listed this two days ago. So on the table it goes. And our pile is growing. Next up is a piece of pottery, $31.20. And I was just looking at this the other day. It's funny how sometimes when you look at things and you say, gee, I wonder how long that's going to take to sell. And then it sells. Almost like you, you thought it into existence. I love this bowl. Look how beautiful this is. So I'm sure I showed this in a video. There is a marking. I'm not sure if this is hand done. Uh, I'm not sure what that even says or if I knew it in the listing. I probably just put signed because I don't see... W A, I'm not even going to guess. If you guys can tell what that says, <laughs> you have better eyes than I do. Really beautiful though. Okay, thirty-one twenty. I said what that sold for. Next up is Google, 
And it is a girl with ducks figurine. Most of the figurines are up here. We are looking for a girl with ducks. So, where are you, girl with ducks? This is just ducks, but no girl. Those look like Gobel. Um, okay, she might be in figurines more on shelf. So I'm definitely gonna put the camera down for that and take a look at that. And I will pick the camera back up when I've opened that bin. So I've pulled this bin down, figurines more on shelf. Let's try to get this open. Boy, it is chilly in the basement today. All right, we are looking for a girl with ducks. This might be her right here. Here she is. I have to say, Hummels are just so beautifully painted. Look at the face. I love a good quality figurine or a piece of clothing or piece of furniture. Beautifully painted, just gorgeous. Okay, let's carefully put her right there and I will put the bin back. I wonder if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I don't think I'm even going to try putting it back on the shelf because I don't want to break anything. So I'm just going to gently place it right there. Next up is a brass lamp that I sold for parts. And this sold for $45. I think the buyer had sent me an offer and I countered and he took it. So again, I'm gonna have to put this camera down. Okay, so this is the breast lamp right here. Now I believe this is um, a liquid lamp, I'm gonna call it, so I don't know much about lamps. I imagine this took some sort of oil or propane or I doubt gasoline. <laughs> Did anybody ever like their houses with gasoline? Yep, that's how unknowledgeable I am. It does have writing up here. I'm sure I put that. It's a patent number with different dates. December 11th, 70, 75, 78, 77, and some other reserved information. So this sold for $45. I sold it for parts because what do I know? I'm not testing this thing. But I thought this was really good and somebody would want this. And sure enough, there it is, $45. And I will try to probably take this apart a little bit where it's meant to come apart to box it. If not, I'm just going to have to, you know, find a box that's good for it. I have plenty of boxes. All right. The next item up is a Burton woman's jacket that I picked up recently. And I did not realize that it had a flaw so women's jackets are over here. This is my rack of what I have left. The whole rack used to be very, very packed in, but um, because of the cold weather, boy, coats and jackets have been doing really well. And this is the Burton jacket right here. And I'll bring it in the light and show you what the flaw was. Now, like I said, sometimes when I'm in the store, I am buying so much that I miss flaws, even after all of this time. So, guys, if you're missing flaws once in a while, don't beat yourself up. It happens to all of us. My thing is that try to sell it with the flaw and totally disclose it if you can and get either your money back out or at least cut even and make a little profit. So this sold for $29.24 with the flaw. Now I paid $10, but almost $30, I still make a little profit. So the flaw on this jacket was that the zipper on this pocket doesn't have its tab and it was broken. So somebody could still wear it. And it also had a rip in the lining and I sewed it. I'm going to Put the camera down and open this up. Okay, so see this seam? We're on the inside of the jacket now. This seam here was torn. So I just chose a thread as close to it as I could get. I picked a lavender thread and just did a little overcast stitch as neat as I could and of course disclose it. Now when I disclose a repair in the listing, I point to it either with a pen cap or something so that the buyer can really get a good idea of where the repair has been. And my sewing skills are, are decent. They're not really good, but I think that was a good enough repair 
And yeah, almost $30 for a jacket that took me five minutes to do a few stitches on and, um, and I paid $10. So that is what our pile looks right now. The last item we're gonna pull, cause I have to get ready to go do the Facebook marketplace meetup. And that's only about 10 minutes from my house for the wooden cassette wall mounting holders. I'm gonna pull Petting Zoo Llama Easter baskets. Again, part of the Easter haul. And the baskets are back here. I try to keep all of like items together. I just want to make sure that I close up the pillows to keep them, you know, new and clean. All right, let me remember this now. Where did I put? So those are Easter bunny shelf sitters, Easter shelf sitters nut bunny, <laughs> Easter garland. Easter baskets are there and they're here. So I don't have which ones are in which. We are looking for a llama. Let me pull this down. <laughs> Lots of Easter baskets. So I'm wondering if I have bunnies and non-bunnies. You know what? I'm really thinking it's probably in that one. So I have to move this big box. Whenever I have items that are really big, this is a Pottery Barn table, I try to put it on like a, like a moving dolly. So I'm not dragging things and I'll show you how this is. So this should just be able to wheel out of the way. How great is that? Okay, I'm pretty sure the llama is in here. I think I see him peeking. Are you a llama? I think he is. Yes, he is. So I'm just going to stick the llama on there, put this bin back in, and we're going to slide the Pottery Barn box back in place. Okay. Now we'll come back and close this big box of Easter baskets up. So this is called the Petting Zoo, and they are Easter baskets that are animals. So sweet. So, so sweet trying to remember what I paid for Easter baskets. I do mention it in that video. I'm going to say I paid, let me think, was it $4.99? It, it was less than $5 a basket. Let's see what he sold for. He sold for $28.59. So these are all brand new and Easter is starting to sell. So yay. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to stop there because I have to bring all of this upstairs and then bring the Facebook Marketplace cassette holders to the person who bought them. Number four. Tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper. Boxes number seven. More tape. More tape. Tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper. Boxes, styrofoam, more boxes, broken down boxes, built boxes, and large boxes. 
that's what it takes to run lavender clothesline. So as you can see, whatever sells in my store, I never have to run out and get anything. I keep a really vast supply of everything I need and it really cuts down on the stress. USPS priority boxes are free on their site. Tissue paper I order with my store, my eBay store subscription. Every quarter I get $150 credit, which most times I'm buying tissue paper, tape, and these boxes here, which I absolutely love. These are, I believe, 10 by 10 by 10. Sometimes I go to, I think this is Costco, Berkeley and Jensen. Is that Costco or Sam's Club? And get tissue paper. Sometimes Melissa gifts me with decorative tissue paper. And bubble wrap. Always bubble wrap. When you're housing this kind of inventory, you really need to be prepared so that no matter what sells, you can just put it in a box or a poly mailer and get it out the door in less than 24 hours. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.